Colton, huh? intro! We've been pulling some orders this morning. This one also includes Tell Your Iris 2, but you're resurfacing that, right? Yeah. That one was disc only. Someone bought Lufia for GBA. Punch out and an Xbox controller. Somebody bought a bunch of X-Men figures, which is really cool. A six cents DVD and three Pokemon cards. Unusual. Mori. And the best PS2 game. And some Switch games. Yay! Guess what sold on eBay? A little field game. You can't really see it in the NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Heck yeah. Factory sealed. Um, it's been listed forever. I think we're probably selling it for maybe what we paid for it or maybe even less than what we paid for it since we bought it <clears throat> when prices were a little higher, but... It was eventually listed for one, what was it, like 170, 180, or 200 or something. And someone offered one, they offered like 20 or 30 bucks off. And nice. I countered with $10 more than whatever they offered. And they said, sure. So oh, nice. I ended up picking that up. Yeah. So Jess is getting it all packed up nicely and shipped out. Yeah. And there's one more item. She grabbed most of the eBay stuff yeah. there that sold, but there's one more thing that she didn't find. So I'm going to go get it. Yeah. It is a rush like DVD CD set. There it is. We just got this thing and it sold for $28. We got a package in the mail that had two of these bad boys. These things are pretty cool. And we don't do a lot of pop figures, but they're awesome and we love them. And we will have more once we get to our new location, we have more space, but these ones are just too cool to not have right now. How many times do you think Funko's gonna release Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Funko Pops? How many times have you done it so far? It's like upwards of 20 plus. Like, it's so many. Well, when people stop buying them, that's when they'll probably stop. That's the thing, I don't think people are buying them. <laughs> people buy these ones though. Yeah, these ones look cool. This I gotta one's really awesome. like Funko Pops, but like the actual set is cool. Yeah. They're all like the table and stuff. Yeah, I like these ones. But we got two of them, so there's we got one. Right there. Oh yeah, we do still have this one. You can see how old it is from the yellow tag. But I put the other one up here already, so we'll add the other one. But once we move to the new spot, this one Pokemon cabinet is going to turn into three or four Pokemon cabinets and shelf space and a plush wall. All just Pokemon. And I'm gonna run it. It's gonna be a Pokemon center. Yes, you see that? Did you just put a new screen on there? You see. No, I polished it. We didn't get to see it before. Oh, that's okay. There you go. I'll just stick it on there. Uh, there you go. The before and uh, and the after. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Get get, get this trash out. Of here. Yeah. Get... Come on, Ryan. Get it with yeah. me. Oh. Uh. It's stuck on my shoe. <laughs> Get it. I feel like we filmed a lot of clips recently showing our Pokemon section and you can see how much has sold. This thing was like completely full. <laughs> so things are definitely moving, which is cool, but we still have a lot of good stuff. Hi everyone. I am back from Vegas. Um, I got back on Friday and then I worked Saturday and today, which is Sunday. And I just wanted to take the time in a clip and say hi to everybody and then also update you on a few things. Um, one, I spent a majority of this weekend going and updating a bunch of the items that we had in stock um, for factory sealed stuff. So I went through just everything that we had. I only got about a fourth of the way through, so I didn't finish everything, but I am... I looked at, um, you know, PS4, Xbox One, everything. I just went alphabetical order of sealed stuff, checked the price, revised it, updated it. We updated it in store, all that good stuff. I'm going to continue to do that until it's done. Also, 
just to note, I'm about to show the trades. Uh, some of the stuff is mine. It's coming from my collection. I'm just deciding to focus on different things. Um, downsizing. I feel like my collection's a little bit cluttered and kind of unfocused and I'm just not vibing with it anymore. So some of the items that you're going to see are coming from my collection and I'll note that. I'm gonna start the trade clip with these really cool play arts figures that came in. Um, we have Tifa, Vincent, and Sephiroth. They do come with their accessories. Um, so he has his sword, gun, um, she just has hands. And there was also a cloud figure with the, um, with the motorcycle, but unfortunately the motorcycle is broken. So I'm gonna be removing that from the system, revising it, and just putting the figure back in which is kind of a bummer, but hey, it's still a cool thing to have in stock. Next thing we have are some books. Um, this is a Full Metal Alchemist book. It is also backwards, but not very cool. Uh, this was traded in by the same person who traded those in. And then we also have the making of Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Um, this was from a different customer, um, the Zelda Encyclopedia. And then this one is from my collection. I opened it and I played Atelier Sophie. I did not love it, but it still is a great game. And so I brought it back in. I did take the soundtrack from there, um, but all the games are on the cartridge. Going over here, we have some Pokemon Ruby, DS, Game Boy. We didn't get a ton of trade-ins today or yesterday really, but um, we got this set in. This is also from the person that brought in the other figures. These are Gashapon machine ones, or they're they're called Gashapon ones on the box. So they could have been in Gashapon machines, but they were also sold as like mystery boxes. And they're pretty cool. There's cat hair. Um, but I did put them in a lot all together. And then here are Amiibos. A lot of these, all of these came from my collection. I just have played Breath of the Wild so much, as well as Tears of the Kingdom, that I didn't find it necessary for these, and I only wanted to keep the ones I really liked. Um, so, got a couple of links. I did keep the Zelda versions, um, the Zeldas, basically. I kept the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask link. And that's right. He's already out of the box and back here at the store. And then these two cutie pies are together. They're sold as a set. I like to keep them together because they were sold as a box set um, and I feel like the prices are pretty predatory on them when it comes to separating them. I see a lot of people try to sell them for like $25 to $50 a piece instead of what they actually go for. And then we also had some NES games, two Turtles games, we got DuckTales and Mario, Simpsons and the Gold Link cartridge, and then... I also brought in some VHS from my collection, Cutie Honey, I was missing volume two. Um, and these are all English subtitled ones and they're definitely mature ones, but good, good series for sure. And then these are not from my collection. These are from a regular of ours. We got Mario Strikers, some anime DVDs. We also got uh, Conkers, Resident Evil, and Wind Waker traded in. And then everything else that I'm gonna show is from my collection, starting off with Princess Rogue. And then my Saturn games, I decided it was time, I just wasn't playing them. Clockwork Knight is my favorite Saturn game. Clockwork Knight 2 is my second favorite, and Mr. Bones is my third. Wonderful game, if you ever get a chance to play it, it is phenomenal and makes no sense. We also have D. And then we have Ogre Slayer Volumes 1 and 2 on VHS. And then I also traded in my super duper nice minty um, Sega Saturn. And when I say I traded them in, I just brought them in. Um, I did not take any cash or store credit from the store for these guys. Um, I just brought my collection in just because I don't have room for it. The store can benefit from it. And there's just super cool items that I feel like other people would really appreciate. And that is it. Well, actually, I'm sorry. These two also came from my collection. I traded these in as well, just the top two. I don't know where that persona came from. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching my trade clip, and I hope you guys have a good time.
Good morning, guys. Whew. It is now, what is today? Tuesday. We're at the outlet. You're probably going to be seeing a lot more outlet stuff because I just realized that we are just about exactly two months away from hopefully getting the keys to the new spot and we have nowhere near the amount of money saved up that we need to to get all the stuff we need so I'm going to be going extra ham now. So I have one of the most expensive games in my collection right here. This is Pokemon Box for the GameCube. This is in the big box here. It includes the uh, cable to link up a GBA. It also has a special memory card with it. And it's not really a game. It's more of just a Pokemon storage system. But this is the most expensive uh, GameCube game out there. And <clears throat> this is factory sealed. As you guys may or may not know, I've been going through my collection and trying to swap out any games that I have sealed for complete copies. This is one that I have just never found a complete copy of um, since getting this factory sealed one, so I have never been able to do that. So what I'm going to try to do is list this on eBay and try to sell it, and when it sells, hopefully buy a complete copy. Um, it's not in the best condition. There is a crease that goes down the back, um, and then... A little bit of a crease on the, the side here. If anyone happens to actually be interested, because this is multiple thousands of dollars, even just for an opened copy, um, but it will be on eBay. Um, by the time this video goes live, it should be up um, with a bunch of other new stuff we have to list. Uh, but this is the only like thing from my collection. The rest is just stuff I found at, at Goodwill. But um, hopefully it'll sell soon. My I've been I've been fine with just holding on to it until we find a complete copy to swap it out with because it's just I don't want to break up the complete set because I have all the GameCube games and um, I, it's just been fine sitting on the shelf but right now we're trying to save up for the new store and selling this and replacing it with a complete copy should leave me with at least a few thousand dollars left over so that would be nice to put towards getting stuff for the new store. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works out. And if you're interested, link down below. Stay back. Stay back. I've got a tuning fork. I think I know how to use it. Boats and hoes. Whoa! I didn't know Ariel could do that. No, I can't actually. You just did it. No. Yeah. We're gonna need more of that. No, we're not. Yes. No. Full video coming soon. <laughs> I like this Adams family, Ryan. Only twenty dollars too. It's such a good deal. For, well, I don't know when it was released because they it says twenty twenty one in the copyright. But our distributor didn't, they had it under pre-orders, but they had it listed as a restock. So I guess this game came out a while ago, but 20 bucks for a new game that's not like a sports game or like a little kid's game. Not too bad, I guess. Mm. And we also got a restock. By little kid's game, I mean like Race With You or... It's kind of a kid's game. 
No, I'm talking like a like a horse adventure race with game. race with Ryan Teletubbies kind of game. And I'm an adult. And we also got our restock on Final Fantasy, so we have five more of these. Did you call the guy on the wish list yet? Not yet. Okay. So we have five copies, one of them someone had on their wish list, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come in and snag it. But we got a few left. So if you wanted one and you didn't get one, get it now. So a couple customers just asked if we're going to have the Paldean Fates Pokemon cards. Yes, they did. And so I wanted to remind you guys, because we did film a clip about this before, but we have pre-orders up on our website for ETBs, the Elite Trainer Boxes, and for Booster Boxes. So once we get them, because I've already ordered some, so if you pre-order them, you're guaranteed. If you don't pre-order them, we'll still have some available. But we do not normally sell booster boxes. We usually just sell booster packs. So if you want a full box, which will be at a cheaper price than buying 36 individual packs from us, then you got to pre-order it. So top link down below. Otherwise, we should have them hopefully day one. If not day one, it'll be pretty close. So part of going extra ham, which... My goal this, my, my New Year's resolution and my goal this year was to go ham anyway. I wanted to not only increase our in-store sales and our online sales, but also eBay and Amazon. And I've been working very, very hard to try to make that happen. It's not quite on track yet to where my goal was. Like we have to, you know, if my goal is this number for eBay, we have to sell this much every month. And so far we're not there. It doesn't mean we're not going to hit it, but it's a slow process to build that kind of stuff up. But for right now, I have all this stuff, which is Amazon stuff that I have gathered over the past few days of going to Goodwill. This is the stuff here that I've already processed and that's waiting to be shipped. So I'm gonna get that stuff done and then hopefully get these boxes ready to go and UPS can pick them up tomorrow. So let's get started. And just like that, it's done. I packed the boxes off camera, but they are officially completed. And it took my very last shipping label. So that was just about perfect. We have more, obviously, it was just the last one on the roll. But I have some media players to work on getting sent in as well. Some DVD recorders, VCR, stuff like that. Probably just gonna do that off camera. Jess is currently working on testing and cleaning eBay stuff. I'm gonna go check in and see where she's at because I was hoping that as soon as I finished Amazon, she'd be done with that stuff and then I could take pictures for eBay because I'll be listing that stuff tonight once I get home. How's it going? Go. Yeah? Going. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Still got some stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna keep working on Amazon stuff. I got the little small shipment done. Good. So I'm gonna work on the players now, which awesome. there's a lot more right here. Yeah, but we'll get to those. No recording. I won. I won, Ryan. I was right. There's no re. Oh wait. I was right. Oh. I was right. I said you burned by double pack. Oh yeah, she did. I was right. She didn't say that. She was right. <sighs> Pinky Cooper. <laughs> what you doing? Science experiment. Sir, this is an Arby's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do you have the meats? You don't want to know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> For cereal though, what are you doing? Uh, I am putting dryer sheets in this dock so we can run the, the switch and hopefully get the smell out of the, the cooling. There's a smell in here? A little bit. You smell it? Not really. <laughs> it smells like cigarettes and dog. <laughs> it worky? Oh, I don't remember the pattern. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I remembered it. It works. 
Did you test the green one yet? No. Nope. <laughs> I remember the last one. <laughs> well, green light. There's oh. green, green works. Nice. 1974, 76, 78, I can't remember. 78. 1978. With the box? With the box. That's for the store, by the way. It's cool. Heck yeah. Hopefully Ryan's little contraption works. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't really smell it that much, but maybe when you turn it on, I will. Actually. You don't smell it now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's just I could like smell the dryer sheets that are in there, so I was like, "Wait, good, smells good now." Good. And then I got it close enough. Oh, 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 dog, yeah. dog and cigarettes. Don't do it in Dutch. <laughs> I'm to... Oh my god. No. Hopefully it works. And yes. I'm proud of yes. you. Thank you. Ryan. Oh. Oh. Go over by the switch cabinet yes. and tell me that it doesn't smell like a hamster. Oh. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I just smelled a hamster over there. Do we do we have a hamster? I didn't think so, but Ryan, do you even know what a hamster smells like? Uh, yes, I lived with multiple. Um, you, wait, did Ryan had a couple roommates in college. Yeah, you know, they're pretty cool. They chew on things a lot. Did you live with, like, in the hamster cage? Or did the hamsters live with you in a... Well, they were in my room in their own cage. So, like, they were separate. So, Ryan was in his big cage. Yeah. But, yeah, there was Panda. There was PP. Um, there was Cotter Pen. There was it's Susan. Of, it's a lot of hamsters. Yeah, a couple of them were the Robo Roboski hamsters. Robot hamsters? Roboski hamsters. Robot hamsters robot named hamsters. Susan. So Ryan lived with robot hamsters. Well, yeah, Susan and Susan Cotterpin. the robot yeah, hamster. Actually, actually, Susan, yeah, and, and Cotterpin were the Wait, robot. does it really smell like hamster over there? Maybe. I thought it did. She's smelling that hamster. Ariel smelling up that hamster. You see that face? That's hamster smelling face. Like, did it smell like bedding? It smelled like a hamster. I think maybe you don't know what hamsters smell like. I've had multiple hamsters. Tell us about them. And guinea pigs. And guinea pigs? And birds and lizards. This feels like a two truths and uh, 15 lies. Well, it's not. Had a bird named Evie. Oh, that's pretty cool. Have you, has he ever talked about rodents or birds in his life? My sister and I both got parakeets. Yeah, take care. Mine was named Evie. I don't remember what she named hers, but her bird killed my bird. It was sad. One of them was yellow, one of them was green. Well, everybody knows what color parakeets are. I'm still not convinced that you're telling the truth. I think he is. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I got pictures of the Pokemon box. I'm gonna get it listed tonight. Just wanted to remind you again towards the end of the video here. <laughs> you should check it out. Also, we finally sold another pair of shoes on eBay. I stopped picking them up because they just aren't selling. Trade time. And that was trade time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where do we start? Let's, let's start over here. So these manga and a couple other things were traded in by um, Ryan and Jess. I'm not 100% sure all of what was traded in, but I think it was mostly anime stuff. And then this is complete. Um, it's not like super poor, but the corners are all chewed up. So that's what I put it in as. And then this white Game Boy Advance, which I always forget there's a white one. Yeah. 
Now, it wasn't super busy yesterday, but today we got some pretty good stuff in. This guy came in with just this book of um, really good RPGs, including these two. Uh, didn't have any cases, but we did, so um, look out for the other JRPGs that are going to be uh, for PlayStation 2. Um, they are disc only, so Cooper's going to have to make those. Um, hopefully he does something something funny with them but probably he's just gonna find some good art and uh print that out some dvds oh no way oh my god please watch this satoshi kone does some of my favorite movies um it's a really good christmas movie believe it or not Oops. oh my bad um but uh yeah it's it's emotional it gets me every time um and then I think all of these um, were brought in by uh, Jess and Ryan. Um, I know for a fact the Sailor Moon ones are. And then, uh, you know how this is pronounced? You would think it's Aeon Flux, but it's Eon Flux. Um, the AE, when they're put together, um, is also uh, what is what Demon used to be pronounced as, was AE. And so uh, I've seen plenty of people be like, Damon! It's like, no, it's actually pronounced Demon. Um, they also traded in these two little pixel links, and they didn't trade in any of these discs. Um, these CDs came from what Cooper could find at the outlet. Um, they did trade in that. I don't know. Yeah. Well, a couple of these I took in today, so that's cool. And this, this was brought in, and the cover was, like, currently wet. So that was fun to, because I, I pull I pull out the pages whenever we get anything in, so that I can take a look at like the extent of any damage. And yeah, currently wet. Um, I had Cooper put it in the heat press, so it looks actually pretty all right. But you can still see the evidence of water damage on the inside. So. I did put it in this pour. Um, I, I, I am happy with how it turned out um, because, like, seriously, the, you you guys know what water damage looks like. It's not fun. Um, I don't know. Can I put this in one-handed? Let's find out. While we're here, right? And if I mess it up, it's already poor. So, come on. I feel like I need a drum roll. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Root for me. Root for me. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, this would have been. No! No! <laughs> okay. Well, I give up. <laughs> I think that was everything interesting. So, thanks for trading with us. All right. So, question of the day is what's a game or like a board game, something you enjoyed as a kid, like playing? And mine would be Candyland. Love that game. Fun, visually beautiful, simple. All right, mine's not so much of a board game. It's more of a card game, but it has dice with it. So it's it's like a game that you play with people. Um, but mine is Filler Bust. It's a really fun game. It's really old, but I love it. I played a lot as a kid with my mom and my family. And yeah, I think it's cool. Mine is going to be a game called Scategories. Very, very fun. Um, I feel like the more people you have, the more fun it is. But first time I played was in high school with a friend of mine. Uh, it was just me, him, and I think his mom, uh, we were on like, a, like we were like staying at some cabin or something, but it was so funny because in that game, you, you have a letter of the alphabet and then you have categories and you have to come up with an answer for the category with that letter as your starting letter. So it's like, you know, a type of a soda that starts with an S and you have to figure something out. But every time we couldn't think of something, we would just make up like we would just put the S at the beginning of the word, even when it didn't make sense. And his mom didn't really find it very funny, but we were cracking up <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. So, um, my family has a very storied history of many, many, many board games and card games that we've... What oh, the frick? Like, Stop it. We're filming. Anyway. Anyway, it was like instant squirrel. Um, 
My family loves to play board games. That's why I'm good at video games in general, is because every time we would play Scrabble or um, Phase 10 or Uno or anything like that, my mom didn't take it easy on any of the kids. She would smoke me over and over until I just got good enough to play with her. Um, Scrabble was one of those games. We love Scrabble, we love Boggle. Um, but the one that we really got into was Ticket to Ride. And I don't even remember how to play, just that there are trains involved and cards and paths. And that if I wanted to beat my mom, I had to really, I had to really buckle down. You should play it, it's a lot of fun. You should really get good at it.